Okay. So here we've got the tens place as five because six cube is two hundred and sixteen. That is more than one seventy five. So we can't take that. And the last number is ending with six. So which cube is ending with six here? That is six itself. Six. So the number here will be fifty six. Okay. Now <clears throat> using this oral estimation method, now we are going to do question number three. Find out the cube root of one three three one. Eleven. Yes. Can somebody tell me what he is asking? I am not able to clearly. What is he saying, Aryaman? Why can't we so so sir? Why can't we find square root by four estimation method? Yeah. So here the number is one three three one. So we are going to cut one, two, three. What is left here? One. So one cube is one. Two cube is eight. So we can't take eight. We will take one. So the tens place will be one. And the last digit is one. In the last digit is one. That means one cube is one. So this will be eleven. So cube root of one three three one will be eleven. Same way you will have to try out for four nine one three. Same way you will try out for one two one six one seven, and same way you will try for three two seven six eight. Sir, sir, why can't we take out square root by this whole estimation method? Square root. Yes, sir. In square root, we already. Yes, sir, we can also like this in division method. We have made pairs of three. We can make pairs of two also. See, sometimes it doesn't work. It will work in most cases, but sometimes it may not work. You try ten examples, it will work with nine. So we use a method if it is useful for all. It's uh, the cube root of four nine one. In the side, the cube root of one four nine one three is seventy. But then squares, you know, what will happen is that there can be two possibilities. For example, uh, if suppose a number is ending with uh, six, so four square is also sixteen, six square is also thirty-six. So there is a confusion whether the answer will be fourteen or uh, ending with four or six. Here in cube roots, we will not have that confusion. So sir, to check that, sir, we have to multiply four uh, by the next number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, if it is smaller, then that is the cube root. Ah. So I say square root, square root. Square root. So here I am cutting out three. What is the number here? Four. 
17. So I can't I can't use two because the two cube is eight. That is more than this. So the number at the tens place is two. The number here is three. So what can be that number? Six cube is two hundred and sixteen. Seven. Sir, sir, the number at tens place should be one because that two cube is eight. Ah, oh, sorry. Should be one. Yeah, one, one, one. Correct. So number at the tens place will be one. Units place this is. Three. So what is uh, six? Till now we have not got a uh, seven. seven. What is seven cube? Three forty-three. Seven cube is three forty-three. So that means it is ending with three. So that means this number here will be thirteen. No, sir. It will be seventeen. Seventeen. Ah, seven. Yes. Seven. Seven. Same way here you will try three numbers we are cutting. Number is coming twelve. So cube of which number is now one cube is one, two cube is eight, three cube is more than twenty-seven. That cannot be taken. So we'll take eight now. So that is two. So digit at the tens place is two. And it is three. And the number ending here is three. Seven. So if it is ending with seven, that is here twenty-seven. So that number will be three. So the corresponding answer will be twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yes. Then the same three. way three two seven six eight. So here we will be cutting the three one two three and two three. The number here is 32. So one cube is one, two cube is eight, three cube 27, four cube is 64. That is more than that. So I am going to take three because three cube is 27. The last digit here is eight. So which cube is ending with eight here? Two cube is eight. So what is the final answer? 32. So when you given MCQ. You can do this method and tick the answer directly. You need not waste time in actually finding out the prime factorization. But of course, if it is a subjective exam and you are asked to find out the cube root by prime factorization method, then you will have to do that. Otherwise, for MCQ purpose, we can use the oral estimation method and find out the cube root. Of course, this works only if it is a perfect cube. If it is not a perfect cube, then don't use it because sometimes the question is. Is the is this number a perfect cube? Then you will have to do prime factorization and see whether we can make it into groups of three or not. If you are not able to make them groups of three, then that means it is not a perfect cube. Okay, please note down this question three, all the four parts. Sir. Yes. Sir, if there is a eleven digit number, sir, how would we do that? Which one? Sir. Uh -huh. okay. If there is a 11 digit number, how would we solve that? Would we also uh, divide it into uh, like we would number? No, no, oral, oral estimation method. 11 digit number into three three number into three three groups. No, what whatever is the whether it is a seven digit number or ten digit number or eleven digit number, our procedure will remain same only. Okay, but in the course you will get maximum seven to eight digits. Like here we have done up to five digits, so maximum you may get six digits because actually the procedure will remain same whatever it is. Only even if it is an eleven digit number, you will be able to cancel out only three digits from the right side. Not that as the digits increase, we can cut more. We can't do that. No sir, but we have to divide that eleven digit number into groups of three all. No, suppose he is asking like, if suppose there is a number three two one eight five four seven six. How many digits is that? Two four six eight nine ten eleven. Suppose you want to find the cube root of this. This is what he is asking. So the procedure still will remain same. We will have to cut out this, but then this becomes a very huge number. So this much will not come. Only up to seven or eight digits because you may not know the because here in the oral estimation method, 
you are supposed to find, find out also the cube of the number no and you have done the cube of how many numbers 20 you have done cube of 20. 20 so what is the cube of 20 when you take 20 cube 8000 so that means more than this that means this number should not be more than 8000 no because uh, the more than 20 is not in our course so the maximum that you should get, get is that only four digits should be left here after cutting so four plus three you are cutting so that means seven digits so you will not get more than seven digits because then then you will have to remember the cubes of 21 22 23 which at the moment is not in our course okay is it clear have you copied down this No, 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 no. Yeah, note down this, please. I'll just note it. Yes, I do. No, no, one minute. Has everyone finished? Can I shift the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, 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 so what you can do is sir, you can type in the chat box. Uh, try uh, typing in the chat box. Sir, but chat box is locked. Chat box is locked, then you can send me a WhatsApp. Who is speaking? Try to speak. What is the question? Any questions?